Hi guys. Well, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, in the middle of this miserable, gloomy day, here on Sunday, September 25th, 2022, the sun has burst from the sky at five o'clock. There's more clouds on the western horizon, so uh, I have cabin fever on this What's the word? This melancholy fall day, I call it. So I'm gonna get out there and uh, burn some gas. See how the leaves are beginning to change. I think it's gonna be an early, gonna be an early fall this year because of the drought. You know, a lot of my trees have already dropped their leaves weeks ago. Just uh, They just dried up and fell off and blew away. I have already have sugar maples that have dropped all their leaves. All the apple trees are gone weeks ago. Anyway, fall of 2022 has fallen. What is it? The first day of fall yesterday. Just an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day. In the end times, good lord, it was so gorgeous yesterday. I did not even have 10 minutes for a rant. I was trying to put in three days of work. Uh, let's see, I think I'll go see how the junk pile is doing. See, this maple tree is dark green. Not a, not a leaf beginning to change. Here's this tiny house. So the tiny house is making progress. Don't know whether it'll <laughs> Dude, he must have 10 foot walls with a 6 foot ceiling on top of it. Uh, shit, looks like the clouds are already rolling back in. Get out there and grab my sunshine while I still can. So, uh, this guy, let's see how his. This is our local quite trashed junk man. Smoke coming from the chimney. Looks like he has had a good summer with his with his junk pile. Good fucking god. Here's where you can get organic free range eggs. Dollar fifty a dozen for real free range organic eggs. But I guess that was my son. Ah, fuck. We had five minutes of sunshine. Should have gotten out there four minutes ago, I guess. Waited too long. Ah, see this battery's getting ready to go. So anyway, uh, yesterday I got, I pulled all of my tomato plants. We had our last tomato harvest out of what served as the 2022 garden. The last tomato harvest and the last potato digging. So I uh, got everything ripped out and the red clover planted for the, uh, for the winter. Come back and uh, till in the red clover. Probably the best green manure cover crop I've ever found. So uh, I was basically getting ready for next spring and here I go. So I have about six weeks to wrap up the summer of 2022 and just figure out what in the fuck I am doing with my life. Here is the the open road calls. 
on the open road. I would like to say it was the seductive siren song of the open road, but it is the, the uh, dirge. The dirge of the open road. How many open roads am I going to be driving down this year? Blowing fossil fuels out my ass, driving around mindlessly. Driving around mindlessly. Nowhere to go, nothing to do, no one to meet. Well, I will have a few people to meet along the way. Uh, so if anybody wants a, a visit from a depressed collapsitarian and his little dog, uh, let me know. Uh, probably be coming down through uh, Maryland and Virginia, the Carolinas. Probably a few days in Georgia. Maybe I'll see some friends in Georgia. Go spend a couple of weeks in Florida on my new piece of land down there. Then who the fuck knows? I could be working in a fucking Christmas tree lot. Well, so much for my sunny, for my sunny drive. Ah. Uh, the leaves I do see are beginning to look pretty. So this is the last big hurrah. Good God, what I have to do <laughs> in the next six weeks. If I added nothing to my list of things to do in the next six weeks, I would have 10 weeks of work. Jesus Christ. So I might as well uh, try to stay manic for a few more weeks because uh, there is a shitload of dead hemlock lumber to get up that mountain. We're gonna get that third tiny house. Here's the sun trying to break through. Ansel Adams would have loved this. I, I do love sun on trees with black clouds behind. So I'm gonna get up to Vermont. I can't get up to Vermont until October 10th. My sister has already let me know. Well, there's not gonna be any leaves left in Vermont on October 10th. <laughs> oh well. It is what it is. Turning of the seasons. Daylight gets shorter every day. It is 57 degrees right now on September 25th. As the days get shorter and the nights get longer. And the, uh, black clouds gather over my mood. Ah, oh, Jesus. See if I, we can fight off the depression hanging over my left shoulder. Uh, you see, there's my one person hiking or bike riding on the Finger Lakes Trail on this dreary Sunday. Anywho. Get out there and enjoy uh, enjoy the Finger Lakes going from summer to winter in their last blaze of glory. Well, I still can. So anyone coming to Bugs in a Jar Farm, uh, <laughs> you need to make it quick, guys, and don't plan to come October 10th, 11th, and 12th. But, uh, I haven't come to see me at Bugs in a Jar Farm yet. Here is your here is your chance. 
Good Lord. Jeez, it's beginning to rain again. What a fucking surprise. Rain again. That was my uh, sun bath for the day. Oh my gosh.